In these examples, it's going to be your job to determine whether or not you have a function, and you will also need to tell me what is the domain and range just by looking at the picture. Okay? So we just said something <coughs> about functions, and we said the vertical line test. So does this guy pass the vertical line test? No. It completely fails the vertical line test. All you have to do is draw a vertical line. You're going to see that that's not going to work out. So we know this guy here is not a function. And for your edification, I've put the, uh, the equation down here so you can see what that is. So this guy's not a function, but that doesn't mean that I, I'm going to stop there. I want two guys to tell me something about the domain. The domain is the set of x values that are being used. Right, if you look at this, the furthest left you get is negative 1. The furthest right is positive 5. So that's going to be bracket negative 1 to 5. You're trying to find the, the set of x values that are used in this picture. Understand what you're not doing. I'm not asking you for where does it cross the x-axis. I don't care about that. I want to know those values of x that make up this picture. And so one way of doing that is by just kind of smashing all of this onto the x-axis. And when I do that, I would be including everything from negative 1 to positive 5. You'd see all that being included if you were to smash onto the x-axis. Do you all agree? That's how you find the domain. And it's very similar to what you would do to find the range. To find the range, you would just compress everything onto what? Y. Onto the y-axis. Now, if I do that, what's the lowest this guy gets? Negative 8. The lowest he gets is negative 8. And he gets all the way up to what? He gets all the way up to 2. So then my interval notation is from negative 8 to positive 2. Since we are describing our domain and range using <coughs> interval notation, we must do it from least to greatest. Now, that's easy enough when we go from left to right. When I'm talking about the range, least to, greatest, least to greatest is from bottom to top. So you have to make sure you put it in the correct order, because if you don't, you will be wrong. hope you guys paid attention to that on the test. So what do you guys think about this one right here? It's perfect? <coughs> Are there any questions about that? <coughs>